All right, so uh, this time around, we want to prove the principle of conservation of mechanical energy, which says that the total mechanical energy at any given point in a uniform force field is a constant, and zero is given by potential energy plus the kinetic energy at that point there. So I want to prove this principle here when the body is rising upwards. In other words, when the body has been thrown vertically upwards or at an angle, whatever, so long as it is rising upwards. And in the same way, shall assume that the, there is not any other force acting on the system apart from that due to gravity. In other words, there is no air resistance and um, any other resistive forces or displative forces. So, in the same way, uh, let's consider uh, three points, uh, points A, B, and C in the middle C. Let me put B in the middle here. And uh, the distance between A and C is uh, our height h. The distance between a and b is our height h1. And uh, the body is at this position here initially and it has been given a velocity v upwards. A velocity v upwards. You can use u, it is okay. Actually, let me even use u. With a velocity u meters per second. At uh, this point, uh, the body is at its initial reference point, meaning the height h is equal to zero, meaning therefore that our potential energy is given by mgh, which is equal to mg times zero, which will give us zero joules. And then the kinetic energy is given by a half mv squared, mv squared, but remember we have used our u, so I'll leave it in terms of the u, a half, mu squared. Now these two, when you add them, they'll give us the mechanical energy, which is zero plus the a half mu squared, which will give us a half mu squared. And this is our equation one at point A. Now, since the body is moving upwards and uh, our, initial our initial mechanical energy that we've got is in terms of the velocity v u, it means that at all the points B and C, our final expression of the mechanical energy must be in terms of the u as well. In other words, the mechanical energy must be equal to a half mu squared. All right, so let's check this out at point B. So at B, the body is having a potential energy which is equal to mgh1. Remember, the height is measured from the ground up to that point B. So, that is the expression of potential energy. Then kinetic energy is given in terms of velocity, which is a half mv squared. But this v is the velocity at this point b. Is the velocity at that point b there. And remember, we have to express that. We have to remove everything like the h. We have to get that velocity v in terms of uh, our initial velocity u. So what you're going to do is that since we added these two and remain with the h, we have to look for a way of eliminating this h in the potential energy. And how do you do that? We simply use the equations of motion. And uh, from the third equation as well, that velocity at b squared is equal to the initial velocity squared, then plus 2as. Now, since the body is moving upwards, it is moving against gravity. So the initial velocity remains u squared, then plus instead 2, the a becomes minus g. And the distance moved upwards is the h1. So this is the same as u squared uh, minus 2g h1. So substituting this one into this expression, we shall have our kinetic energy as a half m into u squared minus 2g h1 in brackets. And when expand this, When you expand that, it will give us um, a half m u squared minus m g h one. So this is Roman two. This is Roman one. When you add the two, we shall get that at point B, the mechanical energy is equal to the potential energy, which is equal to m g h one. Then plus kinetic energy is equal to a half m u squared. Then minus mg h1 and when add up all of those we shall get the same expression as a half mu square that is our equation two all right let's do the same at point a i mean at point c and see whether we get the same expression here so at a 
I'll simply say that my potential energy is equal to m g h. Then the total height is h, and uh, at this point, we assume that the body is at maximum height. At maximum height, the velocity is always equal to zero. So meaning that our kinetic energy is equal to a half times m v at c squared, which is equal to a half m times zero squared, which will give us zero joules. And um, our velocity at point no, velocity at point C from the third equation of motion v squared is given by m uh, by u squared then plus two a s that is from the third equation of motion, and we just said that velocity at C is zero. Uh, our u remains as it is plus the two. The a becomes minus since the body was moving against gravity and the distance moved upwards is the h, implying therefore that our h is actually equal to u squared out of the two g h. So when we express this into this equation of potential energy, we shall simply have it that potential energy is equal to mg into u squared out of 2gh. And therefore, the potential energy will be equal to um, a half mu squared. So therefore, at point C, the mechanical energy is equal to a half mu squared, and then plus the zero, which will give us a half m u squared and that is our equation three so we've proven that the mechanical energy at points a b and c since the body is rising up shall give it in terms of the kinetic energy and is equal to a half m u squared and this proves that mechanical energy is conserved please check out the video here uh, subscribe like share let's study together at chatterman.com see you